Hello and welcome everybody. I'm MTG Gaming Bob. Thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to announce my new Magic the Gathering channel. In this episode, I'm going to cover what this channel is about. I'm going to go over a brief history of my involvement in Magic the Gathering. I'm going to cover the products that you see here on the table and my recommendations, especially for some of the new players out there. I'm also going to talk about our exciting giveaways, so please stay tuned. So what is this channel about? I'm going to be covering a variety of topics about Magic the Gathering, including finance, new releases, potentially spoilers, advice on some of the products that are out there, and some of the collectability aspects of it. I'd really like to hear from all of you, so please leave comments. And if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe and like button. My involvement with Magic the Gathering goes all the way back to 1994. I was in the Air Force and I was getting transferred from Grand Forks, North Dakota to Okinawa, Japan. When I arrived in Japan, I really didn't have a lot to do, I didn't even have a car, and I didn't have a whole lot of money. One of the nights when I was walking around in the dorm, I heard some noise coming from one of the rooms that had a door open, so I poked my head in and I see these two guys sitting on the floor with this array of very strange looking cards, and I was intrigued and they invited me in. I watched for a couple of hours and I still had no idea what they were doing or what was going on. I was very confused. A couple of weeks later, I bumped into one of the guys that was playing and he invited me to learn how to play. So I took him up on it. That was around the time that The Dark had just come out and Fallen Empires was on the horizon. Uh, through the middle 90s there, I collected quite a few cards, but I sold them all off in 1997. I'll go deeper into my history in another episode. I've been playing Magic on and off for the last 25 years. I have a meager collection. I'm no Rudy from Alpha Investments. I'm not a whale, and I'm not here to try to sell products or even really make any money. My hope for this channel is that it'll at a minimum pay for itself, where I realized at the beginning it'll probably be out of pocket expenses. And I'd like to give a shout out to all of those wonderful YouTube content creators out there like MTG Peddler, MTG Moxman. Alpha Investments, Jake and Joel are magic. There's a ton of others as well that have great content. I would like to keep it on a more positive note. If you want to see negative content, there's a ton of that out there, and that's not what this channel is about. So what are some of these products that we have out here? Let me explain why I have these specific sealed products on the table in front of me, and that's for the newer players out there. I believe that right now, some of the products that you see here are still very reasonably priced, but they will go up. Let's start at the very introductory level. This is the Welcome Starter Arena Kit. I'm not gonna go over the contents. There's plenty of, of videos out there, but you can still pick these up at a very reasonable price. And if you don't know how to get started, this is a great product to get started uh, for the newer players. If you're into Commander, I don't think you can beat the value from some of these Commander decks out here. And I'll rank them in, in my order of power cost, availability, and which ones I think I would invest in more heavily, or at least get if you want to get started and build from there. So let's just start by saying I believe that the 2020 Commander set, each of these decks are more powerful than the decks that we have over here, but not greatly. They are more costly though. Each one of these is at least $30. The whole set will cost you about $150. The newer Commander Legends are not bad, and you can still get these for about anywhere between $20 to $30 for the pair. And the same goes for the Zendikar Rising. These are still around $20 to $30 for the pair, depending on where you shop. So where would I get started for somebody who's a little more advanced? I think that all in all, the Zendikar Rising is a fantastic set of commander decks if you plan on playing EDH. Every one of these is starting to go up already, so get them while supplies are still plentiful out there. As I promise you, in a year or two, all these products will be more expensive. I want to thank you for watching this far, and I'm going to go over the giveaways. What I plan to do is when I reach every mile marker of 25 subscribers, is open a couple packs and give away the mythics and rares that are in those packs to one of the viewers that commented on the previous video. I plan to do weekly videos, so you have to have commented on a video prior to hitting the 25 subscribers. You can win more than once, so I want you to continue to keep watching 
every week. Additionally, it would behoove you if you want to win that product to spread the word. Get more subscribers. The faster we get subscribers, the more giveaways that we have. Additionally, the more subscribers that we get and we get higher and higher, like maybe 1,000, 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to do even bigger giveaways. So I'd really like to see this channel grow, and I really would love to hear your input on what you think about what I'm covering, what topics you'd like to hear, and I'll try to keep it fresh. I'll even try to bring in some guests, and we'll talk to all different levels of, of Magic players, from the very serious down to the absolute novice. Thanks again for watching my video. Please spread the word, and have a great day, everyone.